we're doing pretty well on creating our research project, but visually I want to be able to include some elements to help kind of spice it up and add to my meaning. So I can also do that by using the research tool and adding photos. So let's do that. Tools, research. I'm going to, instead of typing it all in, I'm going to highlight, copy, paste, and I'm getting all my web results. But now what I'm looking for are photos so or images. So I would go to images. This would be another good time when you were showing this to students to talk about um, usage rights and things we're allowed to use in our presentations and not. There is an, um, a drop down arrow right here underneath the photo search line. There's a little drop down arrow where you can filter by usage rights. Now I want to use something that is allowable. So I'm actually going to go free to use, share, modify, whatever I want to do with it. So I'm going to click on that one. And, um, the MLA format is what I've been using and what my teachers asked me to use. If I had wanted to, I could use other um, citation formats, but uh, that's what I'll leave it on. So now I've got water conservation. I've got, I hit my usage rights. I'm going to look at the photos that are there for me to be able to use. Now, what I'd like to start with, whoo, not the snake. Those things scare me. I would like to start with the idea of uh, if I can find something useful for that, of that represents sort of the drought and dry weather that we've been having in Texas. Um, so I think I would pick this because it does show how the lake, our lake has gone down. So I could choose that. And all I have to do to put in a picture with its citation is click on it and drag it over where I want it. Now notice, but hold on before I do that, I want you to notice something. Right now, this is our number one citation. This is our number two citation. And you will see down at the bottom, that's how they're listed. But I want my picture up here instead of down here. So I'm going to drag it and put it in where I want it. It's going to put it in and it's going to make it the number one citation and it'll move these down. So that's really nice for you. That way you can put them in where you need them. So I would have that there. I could add whatever caption I wanted um, when I type it in. All right. So that's how you do pictures. Do I want to add anything else? 